The teaching of skills within this video in no way implies that the viewer will be able to perform the skills. The skills viewed may only be performed when authorized by a certifying or licensing agency. Any devices used in this video are for demonstration purposes only. Other brands may be used as per local preference. This video will demonstrate how to administer epinephrine to a child in respiratory distress. Epinephrine is widely available as a single dose for treatment of allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. For visual purposes, the clothing of the training mannequin has been removed from the site. Auto-injectors may be given through clothing. Follow local protocols. Epinephrine is also available in a vial that must be drawn into a syringe. Single-dose epinephrine is available in two sizes. The regular auto-injector with 0.3 mg of epinephrine is appropriate for older children and adults, while the junior auto-injector with 0.15 mg of epinephrine is for children up to 25 kg. Children with previously diagnosed severe allergic reactions to food or insect stings should have an epinephrine pen available. Remove the cap cover from the auto-injector. Place the auto-injector against the large muscles of the thigh and press hard until you hear a click. Hold it in place for 10 seconds to allow all the medication to be delivered. Dispose of the used auto-injector as you would any other used needle in an appropriate Sharps container. The container the device was removed from may be designed to function as a Sharps receptacle. Epinephrine is also available in a vial. Be sure you are using the 1 mg per milliliter concentration. Determine the child's weight using a length-based tape. This will determine the dose to give. 20 kilograms. Hold the vial upside down and withdraw the proper amount of epinephrine. When you have the correct dose, withdraw a needle and hold the syringe facing up, tap the syringe and remove any air. Have the parent or caregiver hold the child. Take the leg and hold the lateral aspect of the large muscles of the thigh. Insert the needle and pull back on the plunger to ensure no blood is present before injecting the epinephrine. If no blood appears, inject the medication. If blood appears, remove the syringe and start again. Apply gentle pressure to the site with a gauze. Dispose of the syringe and needle in a sharps container.